Hey guys, it's Lorty, and today I'm going to be taking you through a tour of my workspace. My desk is a super important feature of my home and of my life, and I've put a lot of effort into it that I'm excited to share with you. So let's get into it. So the desk itself is from IKEA, and this is one of their standable versions. So it actually has a lever underneath the desk that you can crank and it will heighten or lower the desk which is really cool i do like to have mine at standing level i'm standing right now i also do have a high top chair that is also from ikea it's pretty comfortable actually and so if i do have the urge to sit down at my desk then i use the chair but otherwise i just stand and work the rug that i have at the base of my desk is from target it's so hard for me to pick a point of focus on my desk to start, but I think that we will begin right up here with my collection shelf. This is a three-tiered wooden shelf that I got off of Amazon, and it holds a bunch of little knickknacks that I have collected over the years. Starting at the top, I have a few taxidermy pieces, a pillow starfish, and this beautiful moth, both of which I got from a local curiosity shop here called Curious Nature. plant and pot is from a craft store and then moving down to this shelf is where I keep all of my Godzilla figures I have a really small collection of vintage Godzilla figures that were in a blind bag that I got from Barnes and Noble so I have those guys and then these two over here really cool vintage looking figures and then these three are blind bag toys from Kid Robot Moving down, I have another pine cone on this shelf just for decor, and then a couple more taxidermy pieces. This starfish is also from Curious Nature, along with this beautiful taxidermy rattlesnake head. This was ethically sourced, by the way. I know it kind of looks a little crazy being cut off at the neck like that, but this was a humanely sourced piece of taxidermy. And the really cool feature of this head is that rattlesnakes shed their fangs, and this one was actually in the process of shedding a fang, so it makes it look as though it has a double fang right there on the left, which is so cool. And I just really, really love that piece. I have a vial that has all of my snake sheds in it. I do have a couple enamel pins on this shelf as well that are from Etsy. I have a snake one and a gecko one. They're both by different sellers, but I really liked how they had a similar aesthetic. Moving on from my shelf, you will notice this beautiful wall of artwork that I have created. I just kind of mounted these pieces at random as I collected them over the years, and I'm so in love with all of the art. This piece is a print by an artist called Veronica Steiner. She's based out of Florida. She does really incredible reptile art and it's just a gorgeous print of a watercolor of a pied ball python and a spider ball python, and it looks like they're tangled up in some bay leaves, which is just gorgeous. Here I have a sticker from Anime Bay, really cute. It says send ludes, and it's just totally my style. This constellation needlepoint I got off of Etsy, and then this little picture here is of my favorite crusted gecko, Domino, and this was an artist commission off of Instagram. This print also came off of Etsy. It's absolutely amazing. One of my favorite prints that I have ever discovered on Etsy, and it is a beautiful vertebrae slash skeleton of a snake. 
It's not necessarily anatomically correct, but it is gorgeous. And I absolutely love the black and white and all of the detailing and the shading. I always get questions about this piece. This is simply a piece of paper. I think it's got like a flyer on the back of it to a reptile show. Um, but it says, and it means in Mandarin, my butt hurts so bad I could die. There's a really weird story about that. Um, my friend, Michael Ring, um, has spent a lot of time in China and he knows Mandarin fluently. And he was walking around the shop that I go to a lot and he kept mentioning this word pigu. And so I was like, Ring, what does pigu mean? And he started laughing and he goes, oh, it means butt. <laughs> so I was like, man, you sure do say butt a lot. And uh, anyways, one thing led to another and he, wrote this out for me to memorize. And so I just thought it was funny and I kept it on my art wall. Alongside it, I have this really cute sticker that was made by a local artist named Botanical Bailey of my Crested Gecko Domino. It's the same gecko as the artwork up there. And then I have a propagation station here that holds a bunch of little glass vials from Amazon. Um, the station itself was from Amazon and then the glass vials were from Michael's Craft Store and inside are the sheds of my Laffy Shrinkii, my Russian rat snake, Jess. It might be kind of hard to tell, but each shed is a progression of her growth. So if you can see over to this side, um, her sheds and scales are pretty small, and then they gradually get larger as it goes across. Last piece of art that I have mounted on the wall is this gorgeous print. This was from an artist off of Instagram. I believe her name is Cherry Yuki and she makes incredible anime inspired watercolor art. The frame that I have it in is from Home Goods, and I thought it looked so good with all of the beautiful natural colors of this print. And this is a Sailor Moon. Just absolutely stunning. I love the palette that she used and I just think it is so beautiful. Her eyes especially are just really haunting. Moving on to the surface area of my desk, I have quite a few knickknacks here as well. On this side, I tend to keep my Fjall Raven backpack. I use this periodically when I'm going places and I really love it. This is the full-sized backpack and it's in such a beautiful blue-green color. I've had this for a couple of years and I use it to death. I cannot recommend these enough. In here, in this pocket, I have a glass Starbucks water bottle, which is a recycled water bottle. It is really pretty and super functional. And then a book I'm currently reading, which is IQ84 by Haruki Murakami. He is an amazing author and you should definitely pick up some of his work. I try to be a little bit more minimalist with the things that I own and buy, so I really don't have a large book collection, but everything I do have is right here in this stationery organizer. The organizer itself is from Home Goods, and I actually bought the organizer as well as this basket that's over here on my partition and this really cool magazine rack, which is down here currently empty. But I bought all three of these pieces because they matched and I really liked the color and the aesthetic of the resin wicker. I really love reading manga and there's a lot of other series as well that I'm super obsessed with, but I wanted to keep it minimal. So this is the only series that I actually own. It's called Citrus. It's a really cute yure manga and I absolutely love the illustration and the storyline of this. Over here, I have some journals. This is one that I write in, and then these two are actually for my reptiles. I got both of these from Home Goods, and I was lucky enough to find a 2021 version of the 2020 version that I had last year. This is where I make all of my reptile notes. I record their feeding, their sheds, their weights, their health, all of that good stuff in here. And I just really like the design of these two natural cork books. This book to the left of them is also one that I really enjoyed and it is the National Audubon Society Field Guide to Reptiles and Amphibians. I keep my computer's Logitech mouse down here hidden in case I need to use it. And then I do have a few camera manuals, another book by Carlos Castaneda, who's an incredible author, 
and also one on the general care and maintenance of prehensile tail skinks. On top of these manga books, I have this amazing lamp. I have her turned off right now, but I'm gonna turn her on and show you guys what it looks like because she is absolutely epic. Okay, so here's what this girl looks like turned on and she's currently revolving through a variety of different colors. The LED light setting allows you to do that soft fade transition to the colors. You can also do one where it's like immediately shifting like this. And then of course you can just pick a solid color if you choose to do that. And I just really, really love this girl. The lamp is from Otaku Lamps. This lamp is for sure one of my favorite features of my desk. It's just so beautiful and gives the desk so much character and she is really gorgeous to look at. In the middle here, I have this beautiful mirror from Ikea. It was super cheap, required no assembly, and I really like the minimalist zero frame look of it. It's a really nice tall mirror, so it's great to do my makeup in when I'm sitting at my desk. On the mirror, I have a gorgeous trailing air plant that I got from a local nursery, and I believe this is called Spanish Moss. It just adds such a nice reflection to that mirror. Over here, I have another Ikea piece, which is this bamboo phone holder. I actually don't have the charger connected to it right now, but it would go right through there and then it can plug right up into the phone. And I just have my iPhone sitting there. It's really handy to have that phone stand for watching videos or just charging my phone while I'm sitting working at my computer. I have a bamboo rack. This is actually from Target. And this is meant to be a cabinet plate rack for stacking plates in your kitchen, but I used it for my desk just to give a little bit of separation and height so that I could store a couple more items. Below, I keep my keyboard, which is an Acto keyboard. It's actually a Korean and English keyboard. I got this off of Amazon as well, and I do use it for typing on my laptop, and I also use it for typing on my phone when I'm writing notes. I know a lot of people are particular to keyboard sounds. I really do like the click of this one. Here I have a really cool specimen. This is also from my local shop, Curious Nature, and it is a Jericho flower, otherwise known as a resurrection plant. Believe it or not, this plant is alive and you can actually take it and put it into a bowl of water and it will open up and come back to life and turn green. Behind that here, I have this gorgeous reed diffuser from Target and it is in the scent Magnolia Water Lily Patchouli. It's absolutely amazing. And then here I have a really cute figure from an artist called Wandering Walden on Instagram. And this is from their Cinnabon collection. This is one of the Cinnabon snakes. It's absolutely adorable. And when I saw it, I just had to snatch it up. Look how gooey and delicious he looks. He's even kind of dripping onto my bamboo shelf. The little vase and flowers are also from Ikea. I just thought they were a really cute element to kind of tie off the end of my desk and brighten it some. And then I have this beautiful lamp on the edge of my desk as well. And this lamp is from Home Goods. It is just so gorgeous. I've had it for a few years and I really like the glass base design. And that, my friends, is my desk. I absolutely adore this space. It is so beautiful and bright. I have all the things that inspire me most around me so that when I am working, I feel like I can just be creative and open-minded. And it's definitely a unique little reflection of my personality. That is it for my desk tour 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this space. It's really intimate to me and super inspiring. And I was hoping that maybe it would inspire you guys to do something personal with your workspaces as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you all in the next video.